Two-time winning Oscar actress turned Labor politician Glenda Jackson has died at the age of 87. Katie Spencer has a look back on her life. Oscar winner Glenda Jackson receives yet again another award. Her talent lit up the stage and screen. In the film that won her her first Oscar, Oliver Reed famously described acting alongside Glenda Jackson as being run over by a truck. Her performances were fearless. Oh, I don't want to talk to you. Just say you love me. Born in Birkenhead, after winning a scholarship to RADA, she came to the attention of the Royal Shakespeare Company. And while she never looked back, she never forgot her working-class roots. The driving force, having actually gone into wanting to be an actress, was getting a job. Um, but to actually have a job meant that you could eat. As her contemporaries traded off their sex appeal, on stage or screen, Jackson brought a unique intensity. It was real. Playing the Virgin Queen in 1971, she was, by this stage, a household name. Don't you remember me, Glenda? But she didn't take herself too seriously. Look. If you want to take your wife to the theatre, please do. Just don't give me She won a second Oscar starring opposite George Segal in romantic comedy A Touch of Class. The stellar roles kept coming. At the height of her success, having worked consistently into her 50s, came a massive handbrake turn as she decided her future lay on a different stage. Politics. Elected in 1992, devoting 23 years to representing Hampstead and Kilburn as a Labour MP, outspoken on the Iraq war, universal credit, and when Margaret Thatcher died, summing up the former Prime Minister's legacy as... Greed, selfishness, no care for the weaker, sharp elbows, sharp knees. There was a, an edge to everything she did. Um, she, and, and once she'd sorted out what she thought, she would put her... She would land her punch whenever she wanted to in the Chamber of the House of Commons. When she retired from Westminster in 2015, she returned to where she'd left off. At the age of 82, playing one of Shakespeare's most challenging parts, King Lear, to five-star reviews. Elizabeth is missing, I know it. Are Winning awards for her acting as recently as 2020. Unafraid to speak her mind, with her fearless dismissal of the pretensions of Hollywood, Glenda Jackson was a one-off. A phenomenal talent on whichever stage she chose to grace.